my friendly friends. How fantastic to see so many of you here so early in the week and so early on a Sunday morning. I think it uh, does you great credit. So what am I going to be talking about for the next 45 minutes? Well, stuffed, stamped and licked, but definitely not down and out. Direct mail. I'm talking really about the power of great ideas. It just so happens that the great ideas I'm going to be talking about this morning are ideas that come in envelopes. But first, who is this bloke? Well, uh, as Steve just said, I'm the editor of a magazine called Directory. We're really interested in any form of communication that gets people to do things. Uh, we've brought about 120 copies with us, so please, at the end of this, as you leave by the exit, you'll see my lovely assistant, uh, and she's handing out these free, so please, by all means, take one. We're really interested in anything that elicits a response, so that's TV, of course, digital, more and more digital, but also mail. Now, poor old mail. Whoops. It's an ugly job, but somebody has to do it. You know. So my thanks to Luke Sullivan for this particular image. But you know, the really interesting thing about mail, it can also be the most beautiful of media. It slightly depends on your attitude, on your attitude towards communications and towards creativity. You know, I used to have a creative team who worked for me when I was in Adland who said to me, we only do television. And the really interesting thing about them is that now they don't do any television at all. And the reason for that is because actually they don't have a job any longer. Now, one of the things about really creative people is that they look at the nature of the problem and then they say to themselves, what is the solution? You know, and pretty often, the solution may well be writing a letter. I mean, one of the things that always amuses me is when people start an advertising agency. Let's call it Alpha, Beta, Gamma, for example. Three guys, you know, there's a creative guy, a planner, and a suit, and they leave JWT or Ogilvy or wherever it is to start up on their own. And what is the first thing they do? They write letters. They write begging letters to their ex-client saying, we've just started out Alpha, Beta, Gamma. Please, can we come and make a presentation? They use mail. And then, of course, what happens? The moment they win their first bit of business, they start doing TV, press, creating online virals and all the rest of it. They don't see mail as an advertising medium, which it is. So perversely, rather than show you any mail, I'm going to start by showing you a TV commercial. Every time you choose, take off your shoes, rest your eyes, you'll catch up with me. A favorite book, a perfect company for life. Forget about the moves you do in fun. Leave your cares and worries in the front. Loosen up your time. Okay, that ad's uh, a bit old now, but uh, I want to tell you a story about it because it was written by a guy called Jeff Stark. Now, the really interesting thing about Jeff is that he was a direct mail copywriter in a small London agency uh, from the age of 20 through to 34. When he was 34 years old, his agency got bought by Saatchi's in London, Saatchi and Saatchi, and by accident, because he was a direct response copywriter, a TV brief for British Rail landed on his desk, and he wrote that script. That was his first ever TV script, and the legendary Paul, uh, uh, creative director at Saatchi's, Paul Arden, saw this script and said, I, I want to know who wrote this. And Jeff was summoned into his office. He says, it's fucking brilliant. And it was. It's one of the 100 best commercials of all time. Now, the really interesting thing about Jeff is what he said is that actually... If you've learned to get people to part with money through a letter, through persuasive argument, writing a TV commercial is pretty bloody easy. And actually he went on to win, I think, four golds at Cannes and to become a luminary. Now the whole point is, it's about creating selling arguments. And of course, in mail, you have to be fantastically adept at it. But it prompts the question, what is creativity? What are creative people in direct marketing agencies trying to do? 
Well, I have a theory about creativity, and with the help of my mother-in-law here, I will try and explain it. This is, in fact, uh, Australopithecus zinjanthropus, alias Lucy, and she was the first pre-hominid uh, ancestors, and she woke up one morning with a reversible thumb. Whoa! Suddenly you can do things. Now, her next descendant was Homo habilis, man the toolmaker, and our earliest ancestors were toolmakers because they could make things. Now, the interesting thing is that they were incredibly competitive. You know, I want you to think what the environment was like one and a half million years ago. It was pretty bloody tough. If you were small, because she was only about four foot tall, if you're small, we have no armor, we have no tusks, we have no teeth, we are really, really slow. Usain Bolt cannot outrun a brown bear. And yet, somehow, we survived, and we survived because we had ideas. We survived because, as a species, we're incredibly competitive. 